ऑनरेबल एम एल ए भुवनेश्वर नॉर्थ मिस्टर प्रियदर्शिनी मिश्रा माय फ्रेंड मानस पंडा डायरेक्टर एस टी पी आई माय फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द इंडस्ट्री एंड मिस्टर दीपक साहू डायरेक्टर कॉलिंग डिजिटल मीडिया very good afternoon to all of you and i must uh, thank mr sahu for inviting me for this occasion and i am very much delighted to be associated with this function which is uh, 10th in series of orissa it fair organized by bhar india and also the main attraction of this event is a cricket tournament among the it fraternity of uh, of orissa so all all together this whenever there is a there is business coupled with the the sports it makes the event more attractive i understand there are a lot of anxious faces for receiving their awards let me delve into some of the aspects of uh, the it initiatives being taken by the government of odisha the e governance ecosystem of uh, this government of odisha is aimed at providing the the government service or citizen centric services and also the internal processes of the government be on a online mode in this endeavor the entire the industry as well as the the citizens as well as the the government or are the equity partners and particularly if you look at the total e governance scenario as per right to public service act we have to provide 330 service with a stipulated time frame and these services can only be provided and can be benchmarked against its delivery only when these services can be made online and government has taken steps to make these services online and these services around i will i am happy to uh, note that around 35 services of the of this list of the uh, that 330 have been made online this is one part to make this there are a lot of services the government is trying to put it put it forward in a online mode and probably this within one year times there are a lot of activities being taken by the various departments and lot of applications will be required to keep all the services onboarded in online mode so this is a great opportunity for all the it industries those who are present providing either hardware or software to support this endeavor of the government of odisha as far as the ecosystem is concerned the citizen is part and parcel of the uh, the entire e governance ecosystem and as you know that odisha is one of the uh, connection deprived state we have around 11000 villages which in which uh, there are this mobile coverage is not there and government has already taken up the issue and brought out a telecom policy in which the telecom operators are encouraged to put their infrastructure 
so that mobile coverage can be available in 11,000 left out villages, which is highest among the left out villages in the country. So this is this will trigger the need of the e-governance services by various departments. This is one side. And uh, in the meantime, the government of particularly the IT department is also taking steps to strengthening its own infrastructure like Orissa State Wide Network, then state data centers, augmentation of state data center, infrastructure building in the secretariat and the districts. These are all concurrent activities being taken by the government so that the IT infrastructures are available and really have to support the various uh, applications. And investment is one of our main focus of the government. We want the industries to come and establish their own setup, our factories in Bhubaneswar. We have also developed one parcel of the land. We call it Info Valley or Info City 2 in near Jatni, where 650 acres of land, this parcel of land is earmarked for industry. One is one, around 250 acres of land is earmarked for the establishment of the, uh, the investment in uh, ESDM sector. And I'm, I, I can intimate that around 600, uh, around seven companies, they have shown interest and they have been alerted the lands or we have recommended to ITCO for allotment land for seven companies those who will be mainly manufacturing the solar cells, then uh, solar panels, and uh, that uh, stabilizers, etc. So these are the, then the pipeline probably uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe around one year down the time we'll have, we'll see the lot of activities in and around Info Valley. And as you know that Info Valley, the first, the mover, that Infosys has the second camp, campus in uh, Info Valley and they are the first anchor tenant and these many seven uh, that investment these proposals those who have approved so these people will be also establishing their set of in our electronics manufacturing cluster. Coming to that uh, that state of ecosystem we have already as uh, director STPA already mentioned that we have already Sang already approved 162 startups by the startup council under MSME department. Then Fab Labs, particularly recently, we have also in association with STPI, we have also approved our contributions for the fabrication lab to be established at STPI. Apart from this, characterization lab already. It is in the pipeline, ESDM ecosystem, ESDM incubation center at, at uh, STPI, then cyber forensic lab in Triple IT Bhubaneswar, center of excellence recently launched by uh, that our honorable chief minister at IIT Bhubaneswar on augmented reality and virtual reality. These are going to have a, uh, a, uh, a supporting role for the entire IT industries, be it a software industry or the hardware industries. And we are also aware of the, the challenges faced by the IT sectors. We are also taking steps to amend the ICT policy in tune with the requirements. And changes, changes in ICT policy will also trigger some of the further investment in the in this uh, in the state, particularly in Bhubaneswar. And as you know, that we are having maximum number of STPIs compared to other states. We are 
we have uh, that government of India has approved eight STPIs, including the present ones, which is the highest number of STPIs in India. So these, these entire ecosystems, when the STPIs are set up, once they are functional, and entirely there is a harmonious growth cutting across the various regions. There is no disparity of east and west or north and south. There will be the harmonious growth um, in the various uh, regions in the, in, in the state of Odisha. This will be probably will be looking at a time span of two to three years down the time where a lot of activities will be, will be generated and also there will be, this will be consumed. And apart from that, there will be, we expect that a lot of investment will come in particularly Info Valley. This is, this is what about the government perspective, what I uh, have mentioned. Apart from that, we are also uh, trying to give a new orientations to the training programs in capacity building uh, particular areas. Uh, OCAC actually is, be, is being uh, um, uh, taken uh, with several other partners to impart training in the, the contemporary subjects like IOTs, then we have uh, this uh, cyber security and there are various uh, the categories of cyber securities, machine learning, uh, then we are having that, that we will support that, that uh, artificial intelligence. These are the subjects are being uh, taken as the prime subjects for imparting tra training by the OCAC. So I am very happy to be part of this uh, program and I must compliment uh, the Bahar India, particularly uh, Mr. Deepak Sau for organizing this type of uh, event coupled with sports, which is not only encourage but also motivate all, all the youngsters. So my best compliments and best wishes to all of you. Thank you very much.